Toro, Toro, what's going on, Taurus? This red, this red, what's going on? What's happening? Don't come for me. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm just kidding. I love you, my Vene Venetian, Venusian sisters and brothers. Peace, folks. Okay, I look like I need to be on the, on the, on the forum with you. What's going on for Taurus for this last, this end of February? We are in Pisces season. You know, the moon is very affiliated or associated with Pisces and the tarot, and Venus is exalted in Pisces. So sometimes, you know, that energy of Taurus and Pisces is very interestingly connected to the eye, right? Amphibian. Amphibian. Oh, look. Ace of Swords, a new idea, right? Taking back your power as well and, 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 and being in control of the narrative. You know what I mean? And this is kind of like not letting worry control you, right? This is being optimistic, okay? Understanding that there is a solution to every problem, Taurus. Hello. There's a solution to every problem, you know? You don't have to feel like you're holding your breath. You can breathe. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be tense, right? Because you're being very careful right now, too, right? Because this person is being careful. They don't want to drop this down in the water because it's going to be hard to find again. You know what I mean? So stop, um, stop identifying with, you know, um, uh, what am I saying? Not low vibrational. I want to say um, with the with with like there's a fear of losing something. You know what I mean. So like, um, don't lose your mind, right? Keep yourself centered. Keep your mind centered, right? And keep your sight set on what it is, what the meaning behind what what it is, what you know. Remember what you know, right? And don't lie to yourself and don't believe those. Um, those toxic thoughts because this is still related to Pluto and this is still related to um you know the first house of Aries of, of the head so you're in your head about something and it's air you know what I mean and it's related to the magician so stop getting in your head about something take back your power you know what I mean change that shit you know what I mean whatever you're thinking about be like no this is what I this is what it really means change it up morph that you know what I mean it's the power of the mind you know what I mean and the power of the word Manifest what you want by, by writing that shit down and talking, saying it. You know what I mean? Proof positive. Optimism. Faith. Okay? I want you to remember that. I'm going to put that card right there for you. So, we ready. Down, down, down. Okay, Taurus, what's going on? Okay, definitely. Three of Pentacles. That's definitely having faith in your work. You know what I mean? And, and serving a purpose, too. And this does talk about things happening over time. This could even be talking about dental work, right? It could also be talking about you guys needing to take some calcium or something like that. This is also like you need to keep moving. You need to do something. Either it's yoga or it could be some kind of like cardio type of yoga where it's like, you know, you're not moving a lot, but you're actually kind of like strengthening your muscles, which is, you know, protecting your joints and all of that type of stuff this is also kind of like your hard work paying off tours you know what i mean and that's what this is related to as well right okay the hard work paying off don't stop your searching because the perfect thing is going to come it's like when you think that the thing that you are trying to work so hard for to to, to have and to be okay is like it's not out of reach Okay, that's what it's saying. It's not out of reach. Okay, especially with this three of this three of pentacles. I'm like, nah, you, you might be in your head, but you're in your head, but you're still on the grind, right? And you are the one, pretty much, clearly. You know what I mean? And this is also kind of like the climb, right? They like it. They like what you're doing. You know, yeah, they like what you're doing. Look, they like what you're doing. And this is, you know, they, 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 they see what you're doing. They like what you're doing and they see what you're doing. So these are people that see you and what you're doing, right? And how well you're doing at work. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. Whoa, what are we going to do? How are we going to switch up the plan? You're unbothered. Hello. Okay. You're going off instinct, right? You're going off natural instinct. 
okay? This is Mars and Capricorn exalted, okay? Instinct, right? Hello? You're doing what you do. You just work hard, right? Because you know what your value is, right? And your value isn't actually in comparison to somebody else's value, right? We're not making change here, okay? We're not. We're, 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 we're creating change. We're making change, right? We're not making change. We're making change. Okay? You see what I mean? Work. I live for it. Right. Work. Being your power, you better do it. You better work. Look, the pentacles are li literally like pouring off the card. Okay, look at that. You can't take it. Right? Eight of Pentacles, you know, believing in your work and not letting anything distract you or get in your way because you know those eights are related to Mercury. And I believe it's in, uh, you know, a uh, connection to the Tree of Life. But this Eight of Pentacles, and this is Sun energy. You know, if we were thinking of the, the playing cards, regular old playing, playing cards, the Eight of Diamonds, right? Eight of Pentacles, that's actually the Sun in the playing card when we were to lay those out, right? It will be at the top and all of the other cards surround it, okay? Right? Very interesting. Sun and Virgo and Mercury and Virgo. But this is Sun and Virgo right here. You know what I mean? And it's interesting because this this kind of has that energy of Mercury and Virgo or Mercury and Taurus or something like that. You know? So you're thinking about your money and you're thinking about your stability. And that's what it is that's driving you. Right? You know, that's what's giving you your motivation as well. Because this is saying that you're motivated. You're highly motivated here. And you know that there's competitiveness going around. Right? So you're just kind of like, that's that's what drives me. That, that. And if you have a competitive nature, that's great. Because, you know, some of that's the work is sport for you. Or, you know, challenges are like, uh, are like one, one, one in, a, one in a thing. You know what I mean? You're always up for that. And that's why this is um, a five related to the Hierophant, which is Taurus. You know, but this is Leo which squares Taurus, right? And this is Saturn here, which is restricting something. And you're like, even in my restrictions here, even when in my, even with my restrictions here, and even how, how I might be limited in some of my gifts or some what I can do, you know? And maybe even some of what I know, just because like the fives are related to the hierophant, it's kind of like what you know, right? It's like, I know what my natural gifts are. And now I, I know what that value lies, okay? And I know what I'm here to do. And this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's see what the other side right. If you really want to know. It's that. Did you hear me? That's what you're saying. Okay. Wow. Did you hear me? Okay. Coming out of the dark. But this is also kind of like making it through, putting the past behind you, finally letting go of some things. Like, you know, new light is being shed onto something that's bringing balance back into your life. You have to leave something behind for in order for you to feel balanced again. This is feeling balance, you know, and this is the power of transformative, you know, um, endings, right? This is also related to the second house, right? So maybe there's a breakthrough, okay? And there's something at the, at the, like I said, at the end of all of that, something is going to happen, you know? And this is not fighting the lessons, you know? And sometimes you have to let go of some things in order to, you know, not fight the lesson or the karma, right? This is accepting that as well, accepting your karma too. And accepting your fate, right? But this is something that happened before, you know? It could have something to do with a life's experience or some very powerful things that have changed you, your perspective, your relationships, you know? How you identify with reality now, changing. But it's giving you a sense of power and strength for sure. You got the Queen of Swords here, which, you know, Pluto and Libra is kind of like, uh, I guess it would be in its detriment but, you know, when Pluto is in Libra, now you're using that intellect, right? And that further insight, okay? And you're, 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 you're linking up with, you're, you're linking the thinking, you know? And you're able to make powerful choices because you're informed. And that is why 
Pluto would be debilitated there, you know, or would be like an institution me because it's like, you can make these very powerful decisions, yet you kind of like pull away from doing it because it's really like the gauntlet, you know what I mean? But it's like, no, when you do that, now Saturn is working for you. Now that karma's working out, you know what I mean? That 10 reduces to an ace here, you know what I mean? And then Pluto is a higher octane of Mars. Mars is exalted actually in Capricorn, you know? For me, Pluto being in Capricorn or Saturn being like connected is like a lot of power and intensity, right? Here we go, Capricorn, right? Didn't I just talk about it? Because Capricorn and, and Saturn is the last planet that we can see with the naked eye. You know, I can I can locate Saturn, I can locate Jupiter and Venus and the Moon, obviously. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles is 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 connected to that Three of Pentacles that you got at the beginning on the other side. Which is, um, you know, open your eyes to something, right? I'm, I'm like, what am I looking at? Why are my eyes open like that? But, you know, yeah, open your eyes because, you know, you're kind of like, you're sleeping on something or you're being lazy about something or you're kind of like not as like, I don't know, there's a little bit of reluctance or something. You're like, because it's been so hard, you know what I mean? That's really what it is, right? But it's like, uh, you're definitely grounded, right? You definitely kind of like, there are a couple, there are some things that you resent, right? You resent some things. And it's just stuff that you won't be able to control, you know what I mean? Here's the hair again. Like, it's like some uh, missed opportunities, right? That's what you resent. You resent the missed opportunities, right? And it's connected to the past. So it might be some opportunities that, that weren't available to you in the past or you didn't know that they were. You didn't see that they were. You didn't take advantage of them in the ways that they were available to you to, in the past. And that's what you sort of like resent. But this is saying that it's a new day and you really don't have to resent any of that because now you know and now you are and you are doing what you want. You know what I mean? And also for those of you who are still kind of like looking for jobs and looking for things to improve, they are going to improve. You know what I mean? With time, definitely, because the rebirth card is here. So time is definitely associated with that. The five of wands talks about the struggle that you've been going through. You know, also trying to just get people to notice you or just trying to get people to, you know, see what it is that you needed or what you what what, what you brought to the table. You know what I mean? The value in, 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 in you. Okay, but this is this is cool, you know, just be careful with that uh with the resentment cuz that's not good. That's not a that's don't don't look at what got away. Look at what you have now, right? Cuz there's definitely something that you can do. Right. Right. Yeah, you got something better. Right? You can attract something. Okay? It's about what you are attracting right and i want you to maintain a sense of joy in the work that you do okay right because she can make music with this pentacle right here and this bone honey even though the hair got away and it's back there you know but it's like yeah that was a missed opportunity in the past behind but that's behind you right now you have the the potential to make something beautiful right here we go. Three of Pentacles related to the Empress, as it's a three. The Empress rules the Queens, making something beautiful, right? Anyway, the rhythm. Bye. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Comment to the channel. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. It's Providence Tarot there. And my personal account is NYC Kendrick. And Taurus, if you like food, I have a food account, a food vlog. It's called The Tongue Pop. Straight through. And it's just pictures of food that I made. All of it. Right? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.